All right, this morning we are going to attempt to, I think, get our wardrobe design finalized. <laughs> and <laughs> and um... <laughs> if you're new to this channel, we're James and Sarah, also known as the whole world or nothing. We used to be full time backpackers, exploring the world and writing about our travels in our blog. And then the world changed. We got repatriated from Peru and found ourselves back in the UK at a loose end. So we decided to do a van conversion. Make sure you hit subscribe now so you can join us in this series as we share the highs and many lows of converting an old Mercedes Sprinter panel van into our dream home on wheels. If it's not raided later on, we can hopefully get it cut out, right? Maybe. Yeah, that's the idea. But it's going to be a really tricky one because um, the space is obviously quite small and the van curves so we want it kind of full height from the top of the bed to the top of the van but that's going to make it a little bit more difficult just the shapes that we're we're actually playing with so uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to design i think yeah and we can't find anyone else that's done it that we can copy people have done it but just not in the way that we want to do it so we're gonna to have to come up with a completely unique and bespoke design for us. We've had a fair few questions on our design process and what tools we used. And while there were lots of computer programs and apps out there for van builders, a couple of which we did try, we actually found good old fashioned pencil and paper to be the best for us. The reason this wardrobe design was so tricky was because we wanted to create it using the same method as our kitchen cabinets but knew we'd have to build it in place, so we just weren't sure if it was even possible. Once we were happy with the cut list and had figured out how to do it with the least amount of waste possible, it was finally time to get to work ripping down all of the individual pieces of wood to construct the wardrobe. Yesterday we got all the wood for the wardrobe cabinet thing cut. So now we are starting to just do all the little shapey bits on it. So this is the side that's gonna go here. Yesterday before we finished I made this template which hopefully I think fits just right. It's a bit tricky because the cardboard's bendy. Um, You're not feeling me with confidence there. Hopefully, I think <laughs> it might fit. <clears throat> but it looks all right. We um, need to cut this off this side. Unfortunately, it's not the same profile all the way down because, well, a because this is further out, this bit of cladding, but also the van kind of goes in towards the back, so it's not going to be the case that we can use this same template for each of the five sides that are going down there so we'll do this one see how that is and then I think we can still use this template but we're gonna have to adapt it as we go down to get all the others to fit it's gonna take a while no joy. first fit in what have we got Terrible. Terrible? Yeah. Well, is it terrible? No, it's not terrible. <clears throat> it's, it's all right. It's just that it's out by probably about two centimetres. Um, probably by, by about the same gap that there is here. You look so. like just a hood talking. <laughs> Sorry. So what are you proposing? Just cut and try it and then cut and try it? And yeah, well, it. I've just drawn on where I think it needs to be. It's the right profile, kind of, but not. Because of the curve in the wall, it took a lot of trial and error to get it to the stage where it nearly fit. Once it was close enough, we used a little tool we created to get it perfect. What have you got there? A little doofer. What's it called? Doofer. <laughs> Not a doofer. It's called a scribe. 
that's the one. Hopefully this is gonna um, get it right. I think that looks quite nice. Yeah? Yeah. You think it's correct? I think so. Let's do it. That's the piece that's going to fit on there. It needs to notch into there. I think that's right. I think it's spot on. Perfect. The reason this is here is because obviously the mattress has got to go on top of here. And then we need like space for our duvet and stuff on top of that before the cupboard will open. So it kind of looks a bit odd at the minute, but it won't when the mattress is on, if that makes sense. So we need to cut a notch out of here because this is gonna pop through this side here. And then there's five more of these, so four more of these that go down the end one and then three in between. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It was actually a little bit, not too much, a little bit easier than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so that's it. That's the bottom of the wardrobe. This is the lip on the side here. Not one side. Not bad. I think that's a pretty good day's work. <laughs> Finish at midday? Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. So far, we have got four pieces in. That side was a right faff because we didn't take into account how, just how curved the van was in every direction at that side. <laughs> So um, we've had to move that end panel in a little bit. <clears throat> so where Jay's got his hand there is going to be a little shelf, um, which will actually work out quite nice actually, because then I'll have a little shelf for my coffee to go on. There we go. It's like we designed it to be like that, except we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> Van luck, that's what it is. So we just come across a little bit of a problem where the wood was dipping in the middle so we're just fastening some extra supports in for it. Are you alright in that little gap? Uh, it's a bit tight. <laughs> a little bit. Alright, we've got four out of five of the uprights in. We're probably maybe about halfway there. We've just got this one to put in here um, and I think we'll call it a day. Then. Can I just ask a question that. if what? we've got four out of five of the uprights in and yeah. we've got four fifths there yeah <laughs> <laughs> good fractions yes quick maths um but yeah then we've got to start doing all the routing and all that jazz um and it's i don't know we've probably got about an hour of light left so do we start it or not do you know what i mean yeah i'm saying not it so, gets dark really quickly and really early at the moment, yeah so, so i think we get this other one in um, get the top beam in actually we've got to put one across there and then jobs are good enough for today call it a day yeah Wicked. but this is the hardest bit getting all these sorted so i'm I'll pleased you with what, that you've done an absolutely cracking job it's looking great it's not looking bad is it and those profiles are not easy to get right they're not beautiful stuff yeah i'm happy with it we're just about to start routing out these shelves it's a lovely morning here in West Yorkshire again, isn't it? Always, always. Nice bit of rain. So we're working under the edge of the garage roof. We routed. We sanded. We constructed the wardrobe carcass like a giant flat pack 3D jigsaw. And then we glued and panel pinned the whole thing together. So how's things going in your life and how's things going right now? Amazing. <clears throat> Living my best life. I've joined the 80s hobo crew <laughs> and it's raining and bloody freezing so yeah I am loving life right now. Cracking on though aren't we? We've got the first first door made. Anything else to say? No.
We wanted the doors to match the kitchen cabinets, so constructed them in exactly the same way, using 6mm ply and gluing a fascia of 6mm ply around the edge. Alright, we've done all the, uh, all the doors, all eight of them, what are we on with now? Well, everything here needs filling still, we need to fill it, we need to sand it down, we need to get it primed and ready to actually paint, so that in itself is quite a large job, I think that's probably going to take us like two days to yeah. do Yeah, <coughs> I agree. Better get cracking then, isn't it? Let's go. Got all that filled, all the edges it's really important that you do this bit because it just looks really crap if you don't because the paint just soaks into it when it's plywood so yeah all that's done that'll harden overnight and then we can get to sanding it tomorrow guys today we have got to get these doors filled and ready to be sanded and painted and then We'll do the sanding in the van, right? You look really happy about it. It's, it's going to be a dusty day. A horrible job. Yeah. Sanding down filler. It's nasty. And the dust gets absolutely everywhere. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to try and block off the section that we're sanding from the rest of the van. Because otherwise we're just going to be cleaning it for three months before we can do anything else. You're sorted in there then, Dexter? Ready to go. This is like proper murder van now <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it will stop the dust going absolutely everywhere i mean it's not perfect is it but no. it's um it's better than nothing yeah good luck thanks so i sounded while sarah filled the doors so it's gone all right it's gone fine <laughs> look at you you look like an old man. See my hair? Oh my gosh, Jay. Yeah. We're gonna have to vacuum you. <coughs> we just remembered after we've got all the van cleaned and this ready to paint that we have to make a little shelf area for here or a shelf for this area. Basically because the van curves inwards like that, we couldn't put this right at the end so we've got this little section here but it's actually quite handy because it will give me somewhere to put my coffee on a morning and also my reading light's going to be here that has a usb charger in it so i've got a shelf to put my phone on so we're just making this up um out of some 12 mil ply and we're thinking we might put a um false top on it maybe just so that I can put like, I don't know, a book in there or something. Um, so that will be like that. And then that will come off. Just an extra little bit of storage, why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a bit annoying because we we're gonna have to put some filler in and sand it down after we'd thought we'd finish that. Great. Man, that stuff stinks. Yeah. <laughs> You're feeling high. <laughs> getting there. I've never done this before but um, the primer that we use says to clean everything with white spirit if you're using like bare wood before you paint it so it's just what we've been doing really. Once the white spirit had dried it was time to get the first coat of primer on. We followed the exact same process for the doors, sanding, cleaning and priming, ready to paint. Do you remember that guy who said that your, I can't remember if it was cabinets or furniture, or furniture and cabinets will take 25% of your build time? Yeah. Mm. Well he was wrong, because it hasn't taken that long. 
but it takes a long time. It takes longer than you think. I thought you were going to say it's taking about 75%. Because <laughs> that is what it feels like. I think maybe he was wrong because we were just really slow at everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Got the eater on anyway. Or fan eater. It's running off the uh, electric from the garage. But you have just ordered our diesel heater today, haven't you? I have. So that should be arriving in the next couple of days, which will be exciting. <laughs> exciting to install, really? <laughs> It'll be exciting when it's working. It will. Um, I'm a little bit worried though. <laughs> I read this review today, I forgot to tell you this. Oh God. Someone said, how much diesel does it take? And uh, one of the replies was, for 27 minutes, it, it'll take 30 litres of diesel. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> so that's like a litre a minute, which is um, quicker than you can drink wine. <laughs> And that is quick. So what are we? About three and a half months in at this stage? How are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> Absolutely shattered. <laughs> when was the last time we had a day off? I couldn't tell you. A month ago, you probably had like what three days off in three and a half months. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, maybe about six. Mm. Not all in one go, though. It's tiring, it's hard work, and not what we're used to either. No, my body's aching mm. a lot every day. Wake up, ache, work, ache, go to sleep, <laughs> repeat. <laughs> Come on, then, let's go get this painting done. Last coat done! Whoop whoop whoop! In fact, yeah, but we've got other stuff to paint. <laughs> it's not the last coat of, that we're ever going to be painting in <laughs> unfortunately. So. <laughs> no, I mean the last coat of the wardrobe. Yes, while it's mildly exciting, um, it's not that exciting. Oh. Sorry about that. Excitement dampened, we got the doors ready to put on the wardrobe by attaching their knobs. So while we were hoping to get all those doors on tonight, it turns out we missed out a crucial part, which means that we can't put any of them on. Um, oh man, so annoying. What's the deal? Basically, because this is only 12 mil <clears throat> thick up to a certain point, and we've put them away now, but the hinges the screws for the hinges go beyond that and they need 12 mil rather than six mil otherwise they literally pop through this six mil here we have to put like um just an extra bit of wood on the back of them which we've done on every single other door that we've built this isn't our first cabinet so i don't know why we forgot to do that but yeah we're gonna have to cut basically 16 little pieces of wood paint them all and then stick all them on before we can put the doors on so it's going to be like i don't know at least another day probably another couple of days before <laughs> before we can get the doors put on now annoying so i'm going to call it a night Selby. and start again tomorrow yep not the way that we wanted to end the evening but at least we noticed before we started drilling holes for our <laughs> doors because that would have been a real disaster <laughs> the knobs are on though so you know We've got that bit done. Yeah, looking good. All right, so while Jay is making those little blocks for the doors this morning that we missed off, I am going to get our other reading light put on and the little shelf fixed on and secured in place. Great. Do you like it? I really like it, yeah. So Jay's just putting in the other wardrobe rail over in the other side of the wardrobe on my side. Ooh. We've already got this one in here. So they go this way across, as you can see. They're a little bit tricky to put on because 
the back wall isn't straight it's curved um, but they're in and or this one's in and they're really solid so they're definitely going to be holding the I don't know 12 or so coat hangers that we can fit on there so the day is finally here are you excited me yeah no do you know what I'm talking about no Tuesday <laughs> <laughs> No, to put the um, cupboard doors on the wardrobe. Okay, yeah, that's quite exciting, yeah. It's yeah. going to look so nice. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to be... Um... Don't say easy. <laughs> Do you think they're going to go on without any drama? No. <laughs> Never. Nothing in this build happens without drama, so... <laughs> Prepare for a whole day of drama. So first drama that's happened, or is it? I uh, run out of screws. <laughs> The hinges that we use do actually come with screws, don't they? But because they're too big, we use these smaller ones. And um, we've run out. Okay, drama number two. So we've got the two big cupboard doors on. They're all working great, lined up. Everything kind of lines up, except when we're putting these on, well, they don't fit basically. There's not enough space in between. I think it's because they fit perfectly. Same thing that happened with the um, hatch through to the front cab after the layers of paint have gone on the side. It's just made it that they don't fit. So what we're having to do is sand down the edges of these doors so that they fit. And then obviously we're gonna have to paint them again, which is a bit of a bummer, but at least they'll fit them. So what are you saying? Finally, finally, finally. <laughs> this is all done. Boom, look at that. It has been an absolute labor, I was gonna say labor of love, but I don't think love is the right word. No, but you do love it, it looks so nice. I love it now, but it's just been a labor. <laughs> a labor of hate. Um, but no, it's great. It looks and so good. There's just so much space in it as well. So much more than I was expecting. Like, I know. There's 12, 12 coat hangers in there. Yeah. And obviously with our doodles, we can fit two. So that'd be 24 coat hangers. And then we've got three of these. Yeah. The top two are pretty big. Yeah, because they've got that extra bit at the top. Yeah. But then the bottom one is huge. It's yeah. massive because it's got all of that at the bottom as well. Really, really good. I'm really, really happy with it. It's exactly like I hoped it would be. Well, that's it for this week, comrades. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, that thumbs up button needs a smash in. And if you're a new face around town, then why not subscribe as well? And don't forget to hit the little alarm bell while you're down there so you get notified every time we post a new video. Next week, we're going to be building our multifunctional pull-out table slash sofa bed. See you then. <laughs>